The topics for this session are soul, who am I, and the supreme soul, the source of peace. The first step for Raj Yoga meditation is to understand the ancient old question, who am I? Meaning, who is it that's going to be meditating? When we look at ourselves, our identity, our self-esteem, self-confidence, and the identity of how we relate to ourselves is very much tied into what I can see in the mirror, meaning what type of body I have and what I own. The easy way to understand myself is just the difference between two words, I and mine. When I think deeply about who am I, then I can see the contrast between who I am and what I own. My means I have a house, I might have an apartment, I have a car, I have friends and relatives, or you can say my house, my car, my relatives, my hands, my feet, my body. But who am I? I am the one who is a live, conscious, thinking being, a soul, or in science we say consciousness, the one who is aware. Now let's, for a few moments, put the awareness of our body on the side and focus on what is a soul. The soul is the one that cannot be seen with the physical eyes. The soul is the one that creates thoughts, makes decisions. In fact, if I look in the mirror very closely, I will not see a soul. We say that the soul or the consciousness sits right here, the seat of the soul. Now, what is the makeup of the soul? Or you can call it the anatomy of the soul. See in this picture, the soul has three faculties, or you can say three organs, like the body has different organs, heart, lungs, brain, so many varieties of organs all together make the body go. So the soul has three organs. The first is mind. Mind is a thought factory. It means that my mind is creating thoughts 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Even when I am sleeping, my mind is creating thoughts. The purpose of my mind is to create thoughts. My mind likes to create thoughts. So in meditation, we are not going to try to stop our thoughts or to clear our mind of thoughts because this is not possible. My mind is an ever-producing thought factory. Now, whatever thoughts I create, 
It goes to my intellect. Intellect is the one that makes decisions. So, for example, if I have 10 thoughts or 50 thoughts, my intellect is the one that picks one of those thoughts and puts it into action. We don't do everything we think about. So our intellect is the one that sorts through our thoughts and picks a thought, puts it into action. Then whatever actions I perform, or even whatever I dwell on, whatever I think about and concentrate on, that creates an experience. All of the experiences that I've ever had are recorded in my subconscious. This subconscious is like a multi-billion gigabyte hard drive with a recording and a memory of everything I have thought, everything I have said, and everything I have done. So my subconscious is also the storehouse, the data bank of my personality, my habits, my tendencies. And then, Again, we come to our mind. So the way this works is, throughout the day, I'm creating thoughts, making decisions, and reinforcing my own personality, character, habits, and tendencies. This is happening, happening repeatedly, and usually we're not aware of this. I'm creating thoughts, making decisions, reinforcing my subconscious. But usually we're on autopilot, meaning I'm not really paying attention to what type of thoughts I'm creating. So for example, if I have 10 negative thoughts or 10 stressful thoughts, 10 worried thoughts, then my intellect has no other option but to choose something negative which my own mind is creating. And then my actions will be accordingly. And then those negative actions will reinforce whatever personality trait is already in me. So what we want to do in meditation is use our mind to create unique, very peaceful thoughts. Harness the power of my mind to create an experience of peace for me. All we need is a few moments, a few seconds experience of peace. This gets recorded in my own subconscious. We go on adding peace, drop by drop by drop, and slowly this will create a personality trait, a habit of peace. It will give me a lot of internal strength. Tension, worry, fear, these negative feelings, they do not happen overnight or just from one single incident. These character traits, especially tension, stress, and worry, these are accumulated over a long period of time. So logic says, Common sense says, if I can accumulate stress, if I can accumulate worry, I can also accumulate peace. This is the idea behind meditation. 
So now you understand the anatomy of the soul, how the soul functions. Or you can say more specifically how I function inside. I do not have a soul. You do not have a soul. You have a body. I have a body. But I am a soul, a live, conscious being. The soul is the one that I can't see with my eyes. And why is it we say the soul sits in the forehead? Because the eyes are the windows for the soul. This is why when we communicate with each other, we always look into the eyes. Eye contact is the most effective communication. Now, if I could see myself, what do I look like as a soul? How does the soul look? If I could take off my body and hang it on a coat hanger on the side, what will I see? Just like this, a being of light. Not a physical light, but a light of awareness, a light of life. This means I am the one, I the soul, am the one who gives life to this body of mine. The moment I leave this body of mine, this body cannot live for even one second. Another important point about the soul is that I will never die. Of course, I cannot stay in this body forever, we know that. But one of the first experiences we will have when we leave the body is that I'm still alive. My mind, my intellect will be fully intact, my personality fully intact. And I will feel very clearly that I am not that body of mine. I'm alive eternal being. I will never die. Our identity is so much tied into what we can see in the mirror. What color of skin I have, which country I'm from, what language I speak, what my religion is, how I think others see me. But there's something more to me than this body of mine. In fact, the most beautiful thing about me is me, the soul, the live soul. The problem is that we try to get our happiness, our sense of worth and value from our body. This leads to a lot of unnecessary tension, insecurities. What we want to do in meditation is start to develop a self-confidence, a self-esteem, a sense of my own value and worth based on me, the beautiful soul, the sparkling, live, spiritual being, the soul. So when I look at myself, I think 
about what's valuable about me as a person. I don't judge myself just based on what type of body I have. And when I look at others, it will begin to be the same. I will appreciate the uniqueness and the beauty of another person, the soul, and not judge a person based on what type of body they have. Now, the next point in Raj Yoga meditation, once I've understood myself, now I want to understand the source of peace, a supreme being. This being is also a soul just like me. The main difference is this supreme soul does not have a body, but this supreme soul is live and conscious just like I am. This source of peace has a personality which is an ocean of peace, an ocean of kindness, an ocean of love. This being of light never punishes us because this being doesn't have to. There is a law of karma which we are bound by, which we will discuss in a later session. The role of this being of light is like a very loving father and a very loving mother, a friend, the one who helps me at the time of need, the one who gives me strength to face challenges. But most importantly, this being is a source of peace, ready and willing to help me in whatever good things I want to do. So what does this being look like? If I could see a picture of this being of light, how would this being look? Just like me, a being of light emanating rays of light like a point, a star. These rays of light is not a physical light, a light of wisdom, a light of love, a light of peace. This Supreme Soul, Supreme Being is the source of wisdom also. So what we want to do is how to connect myself to put myself in the company of this being of light so that I can take strength from this source of peace. Where is this being of light? This being of light is in a very high consciousness. The mind of this being of light is always extremely peaceful, very calm, far, far away from the tension of the world, but at the same time, very close, just one thought away. 
Now with this, two points, understanding myself and understanding who is this source of peace and what is this source of peace, let's have our first experiment with meditation. Meditation is just thinking, using my thoughts to create an experience of peace. So what I will do, I'm going to meditate and I will speak my thoughts out loud. We call this a guided meditation commentary. So just follow my words with your thoughts. Keep your eyes open. And why is it that we want to have our eyes open when we meditate? Because all of the things in my life that create stress, which is most of the time other people that we must deal with every day, I have to face all of those people, all of the situations with my eyes open. So if I can learn to meditate with my eyes open, then when I face difficult people, difficult situations. I can learn to be more peaceful in front of those things. And slowly and slowly, I will start to have a positive influence on whatever it is I have to face. So let's have an experiment of meditation. First of all, sit comfortably with your mind, make your body completely still, relax your hands, your feet, your neck, with your mind, make your entire body peaceful, relaxed, completely still. Take a deep breath, let it out. Now, we're going to turn our attention to our thoughts. For most of my life, I have thought of myself as a body. What I can see in the mirror. But there's something more to me than this. Something very special. All of my strength. intelligence, ability to love, to experience happiness, ability to experience peace. All of this is contained within me, the soul. The most valuable thing about me it's not my body, not how I look, but it is me, the live soul. So from now on, when I think of myself, I will always remind myself, I am a spiritual being a live soul, a sparkling soul, and the most beautiful thing about me is me, the soul. With my mind, I remind myself, deep within me is the original 
personality of peace, of calmness, my mind is cool, calm, concentrated. I visualize myself as a being of light, just in the center of my forehead, like a sparkling star a live, conscious being. All around me is light upon light upon light. It's as if my awareness moves away from this body of mine and I start to become aware of myself as a spiritual being, a peaceful being. I am not this body of mine. I am far, far away from the awareness of this physical world it's as if I'm in a region of light. Just in front of me, there's another being of light. I cannot see this being with my eyes, but I can feel very subtle vibrations of peace coming towards me. In this awareness, it's as if I am silent in a consciousness of silence, in a world of silence. I can feel the presence of this source of peace, this supreme being. It's as if this being of light knows me and knows how I feel in the company of this being of light. All of my worries, tension, is far, far away from me. I am absorbed in this feeling of peace. This being of light comes closer to me. I feel waves of coolness coming towards me. My mind is empowered. I am detached from this body of mine, free. I am myself, a peaceful being of light, a child of this source of peace, this supreme light. As I come back to the awareness of this body of mine, I am still me, but I am refreshed, recharged, so peaceful. Anytime I want to, I can take my mind to a higher consciousness. Remind myself, who am I? Become absorbed in this awareness. Allow my mind 
to become very peaceful. Harness this power of thought. This experience of peace is so healing. It is the medicine for all the challenges I have to face. And with this stock of peace, this power of peace, I can face anything that I need to. This concludes the session and look forward to seeing you in the next session. Om Shanti.